Hi, I'm Gene Sisko. And I'm Roger Ebert. And tonight we'll be reviewing some new films that Gene and I feel very strongly about. That's right, Roger, and our feelings on some of these films aren't necessarily mutual. Right, on some of them we vehemently disagree. But on others we hardly concur. Some of them we see eye to eye on. But on others we don't even begin to agree. Now, tonight our first film is from... Uh, some 20... of them we can't even come close to agreement. It's from 20th Century Fox. It's a new... Uh... And even if we did agree on some of them, the rest of them we would argue about because we don't see eye to eye on them. Right, Gene? That's right. When that happens, the fur is really going to fly. That's when the popcorn will hit the fan. <laughs> All right, here's our first film. As I was saying, it's from 20th Century Fox. It's another in the Star Wars series, and this one's entitled Empires Are a Girl's Best Friend. Now, they claim this cost $50 million to make, so let's take a look at it. What was that? That is the cheapest space flight I've ever seen. It must have blown the entire budget on personal expenses on this one. I think this is the worst Star Wars that I've ever seen. It just stinks, and I give it a zero rating. Well, you know, Roger, I agree with you 100%. It was the rottenest film I've ever seen, and I also give it a 100% bad rating. Well, I see it's time for our dog of the week, and my vote goes to Robert Altman's new film, Henry. You know, I used to admire Altman as a filmmaker, but after this film, I'm beginning to have serious misgivings about his work. Henry is a movie based on the comic strip of the same name, and as I said, it is questionable subject matter for a serious film. Let's take a look at it. Well, I totally agree with you, Roger. Robert Altman, the man who gave us McCabe and Mrs. Miller and Nashville, has now given us this. I think he's gone totally bonkers. Well, that's about all the time we have. Next week, we'll review Bob Fosse's next film, All Those Pocus. <laughs> and we're gonna take a look at uh, Ingmar Bergman's latest opus, entitled Winter Pledges. Now, uh, this takes place at a Swedish fraternity house in the early 60s. So, until next week, keep seeing those movies. Uh, uh.